Hi, my name is Carol Pepper. I'm the CEO of Pepper International. Welcome to Module 6 of my course, How to Create Your Single Family Office. In this part of the course, we're going to talk about creating the proper checks and balances and controls within your family offices for the movement of all funds. We're going to talk about controlling the risk of theft and fraud, creating family budgets, tax preparation best practices, and how to organize that digital office. Now it's very important that you start by mapping out all of the processes that you have to do in your single family offices. This can be quite complicated. Some families have lots of real estate holdings, they have various investments, they have various homes, uh, boats, planes, all sorts of assets that need to be accounted for and cash moving all over the place. So ideally you want to sit down with your staff or hire an external consultant to map out every back office function and process. From there you can determine whether you need in-house staff or external experts to do the accounting for you. If you have a lot of accounting and where you live accounting staff is relatively inexpensive, you may want to hire two, three, or four accountants to work directly for you and to take care of all of the back office functions. If you have a smaller family office, you may want to outsource this to a professional accounting firm that will provide this type of staff for you. It depends on your budget and depends on where you live and how many countries you're operating in. We will also want to conduct annual audits of all accounting function and particularly surprise audits. This is important to make sure that at any particular time uh, we know exactly what's going on and staff are never quite sure when they might get audited. Cybersecurity is a risk certainly within the accounting and back office functions, so you want to get your IT and cybersecurity experts to look at all these processes that you have mapped out to make sure that everything is secure when it comes to moving funds around for the family. Fraud and theft are the first things that people worry about, and indeed, it is in the back office that we see the most fraud and theft in family offices. Let me give you an example. A bookkeeper writes a check to American Express for a family member's American Express bill, but she also writes a second check to American Express for her American Express bill. The checks come in, they just say American Express, and money is being stolen. I've known a case where millions of dollars have disappeared simply by doing little tricks like this. So we want to make sure that there's really strict accounting and matching between the invoices and the payments so that there's no additional payments going out without invoices. That's why we scan every invoice and everything has to be matched. We want to require dual signatures for large wires, uh, perhaps anything over five or ten thousand dollars, to make sure that there are two people who are accountable and not one person could be wiring money out to another uh, country or to a personal bank account. I actually know of a situation where a hedge fund manager had a junior partner and that person, unbeknownst to the hedge fund manager, set up totally separate accounts and directed the family office to start lending money to him uh, and wiring money to this company. The only way that the company found out about the fraud, because there was so much money in the company, was because he broke his leg and a bank called to confirm a wire that was normally confirmed with him and suddenly the whole thing fell apart. This was of course kept very private because it was embarrassing, but it was also very costly. Luckily they were able to retrieve the funds but you don't want these kind of things to happen. So always require dual signatures and most principals should be aware of what's happening with any large withdrawals or wires out of the family office. It's also critical to insist on live callbacks from your bank for any wire transfers because there are also people now who are attacking family office accounting systems, getting in there and they will pose um, as a banker or somebody who you think is part of your staff uh, and everything done by email could potentially be fraudulent. This is happening on a more and more frequent basis. Again, constantly upgrade the cybersecurity, but make sure in the end of the day that you're talking to a real human being before a large amount of money is transferred anywhere. 